Listen, time is the only asset we don't get back. In this game, speed of implementation isn't just a nice to have, it is the difference between a five figure month and going back to a day job. Stop me if you've heard this one before. You know that doodle videos convert. You know they keep retention high. You've seen the stats, whiteboard animation increases conversion rates by up to 20% on sales pages. They lower CPA on Facebook ads. They increase time on page for VSLs. Psychologically, the human brain is wired to follow that moving hand. We can't help it. But here's the dirty truth no one talks about in the sales letters. Creating them manually is an absolute nightmare. I've done it the old way. I've spent four hours searching stock sites for an SVG file of a guy looking confused, only to find out it doesn't sketch correctly. I've spent entire weekends trying to sync a 60 second voiceover so the hand stops drawing exactly when the sentence ends. It's tedious, it's expensive if you outsource it, and frankly, it's a massive waste of my strategic brain power. Today, we're stopping that madness. I'm going to show you a tool that claims it can take a raw text script and turn it into a fully animated, synced, ready to publish doodle video in under five minutes. We are looking at InstaDoodle, specifically their new AI wizard upgrade. This is the OTO or one-time offer that everyone is buzzing about. I'm going to walk you through a real-time demo of how this AI actually works, based on actual footage of the software in action. I'm going to show you the strategy behind using it, the exact buttons to push, and critically, how to fix it when the AI messes up. Before we touch the software, you need to understand the why. If you don't understand the strategy, the tool is useless. When you log in, you'll see your project hub. Click on this plus icon to get started. Now, there are two ways to begin. First, the manual way, which we already covered in our earlier review of InstaDoodle Basic. You might be tempted to hit new project and start building manually, scene by scene. Don't do that, unless you enjoy hours of manual grunt work. In this video, we are choosing the second method. This method is fast and it is easy. Once you launch the wizard, you are standing at a crossroads. You have two choices and the one you pick depends entirely on your goal. Number one, the idea to video option. This is for when you are lazy or let's call it efficient. Maybe you want to test a niche like solar energy or keto diet. You click this, type a single sentence like how to lose weight without exercise, and the AI will actually write the entire script for you. Number two, the script to video option. Here, you can paste a script of up to 3000 characters at a time. This is the option for the professionals. This is the one I use 99% of the time. Why? Because if you are selling a product, you don't want the AI guessing your sales pitch. You want to control every word. You want to use the specific copywriting hooks like the P, A, S, problem, agitation, solution, frameworks that you know convert. So I recommend you use this one. But to keep this demo simple and show you how easily you can create amazing doodle videos with AI, I will choose the first option. For this demo, I wanted to choose something fun. Let's go with a day in the life of a caveman. Let's enter that here and click on generate script. Now, InstaDoodle's AI wizard will spring into action and create a script for you. Now, if you want, you can edit the script right here. But once again, to keep things simple, we will leave it as is and click next. Now, the AI wizard will start generating the slides. Boom, look at that. In just a few seconds, the AI didn't just write a script, it built an entire storyboard. Now, pause here, do not just spam the next button. This screen, it is your quality control center. Let me break down exactly what you are looking at because this is the secret to getting a good video on the first try. First, you have the script slash voiceover box. The AI wrote this based on my day in the life of a caveman prompt. It says, imagine stepping back in time. If you don't like how that sounds, or if you want to add a joke, you can edit this text right here and the AI voiceover will update automatically. But this, this box down here, labeled image prompt, this is the moneymaker. 
This is the instruction the AI has written for itself on what to draw. Look at slide two. The AI wrote, a middle-aged, broad-shouldered European male with tan, weathered skin. It is incredibly specific. It knows that for a caveman video, it shouldn't just draw a stick figure. It needs a rugged character. Read these prompts. If the prompt says a caveman holding a spear, but you actually want him holding a club, change the word spear to club right here in this box. I like what the AI has done here. I'm gonna trust the machine. Let's hit next and see these words turn into actual drawings. All right, the blueprint is ready. Now we need to dress it up. The AI wizard asks you for two things here, the visual style and the project format. So for the visual style, let's choose cartoon. For the layout, let's go with minimal. Next, we need a narrator. We can choose not to have a voiceover, but for this demo, let's choose Delilah. She sounds like a storyteller. She sounds like a teacher you actually liked in high school. Hello, I'm Delilah. With my voice, your voiceover can be both powerful and sincere. Whether you need authority, warmth, or mm, a blend of both, I've got you covered. Ready to create a lasting impression? If that's so, let's begin. And let's click on Create Project. And here we are. The AI has done the heavy lifting, it created the slides, it generated the voiceover, and it placed the doodles. But remember what I said earlier? The AI gets you 90% of the way there. The last 10%, that is on you. Did you see that? Let's In a replay world it. Where your alarms are the sounds of birds and the warmth of the morning sun. This is a day in the life of a caveman. With the first light of dawn, our caveman emerges from the safety of his cave. Delilah starts talking, but the screen is blank for a second or two in between. That is what we call visual dead air. It kills retention. If the viewer hears something but sees nothing, they click away. Here is how we fix it. First, click on any element. Look at the settings panel. You have duration, how long it takes to draw, and delay, how long it waits before starting with the next element. If the voiceover is fast, drop the duration to 1.0 seconds. If you want a dramatic pause before he appears, bump the delay to 0.5 seconds. It's just a slider. Slide it left for speed, right for drama. That's it. I also like to go to this layers section and adjust the order of elements appearing on screen. One more thing. Sometimes the AI sets the animation of elements to fade in or pop up. We are making a doodle video, not a PowerPoint presentation. I personally go through most major elements and change the animation style to draw. We want to see the hand moving. We want to see the ink flowing. That is what keeps the brain hooked. Now, what if the scene feels empty? Maybe our caveman needs a friend or a fire. You have two choices here. You can search the massive internal library for props, characters, or text. Drag, drop, done. But what if you need something specific? Let's say a futuristic stone wheel. That is probably not in the library. This is where we use the generate with AI option. Just type your simple prompt in this box, futuristic stone wheel. Choose your style, keep it consistent with the rest of the video. Select the number of variations you want, and hit generate. And just like that, you have a custom asset that no one else has. You can upload your own logos or images here too, but the AI generator basically means you never run out of props. You go through your 10 or 20 slides, swap out some images that don't quite fit, and you're done. What would have taken four hours of manual creation took five minutes of generation and maybe 15 minutes of polishing. Here's the reality check. Most people are not video production experts. They don't care how the video was made. They care about the information inside it. 
If your script is garbage, the best animation in the world won't save you. But if your script is fire, if it hits their pain points and offers a real solution, the doodle animation is just the delivery mechanism. To get the AI wizard, you will first need to purchase the InstaDoodle basic plan for $37 one time, and then upgrade to the AI wizard for $67 one time. One more thing, you will spend credits every time you use the AI wizard. One video with voiceover may cost you 25 to 30 credits. By default, you have 150 lifetime credits. If you want more AI credits, you can always buy credit packs. By the way, for using the manual mode inside InstaDoodle, you don't need any credits. You can create unlimited videos without needing to buy anything extra. Now, let's wrap this up. In the marketing tool space, there is a lot of hype, a lot of AI washed garbage that doesn't actually save you time. InstaDoodle's AI wizard is the real deal because it tackles the most time consuming part of the process, synchronization and storyboard layout. Is it perfect? No, you still need to be the director. You still need to review the footage, but it turns a marathon into a sprint. It allows you to test more offers, create more content and get your message out faster than your competition who is still fiddling with keyframes in Adobe After Effects. By the way, I will show you the sample video I created along with a few other videos made with the AI wizard add-on in my next video. Click the link in the description below. That will take you to the best current deal on InstaDoodle and the AI wizard upgrade. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.